When a breed like the Doberman that was created for one single purpose, to protect humans from other humans, attacks, it's not pretty. So, knowing how to tell when this world-class protection dog may be getting ready to do what it does best, well, that might just be a valuable thing to know. And that's what this video is all about. Welcome to Doberman Planet. Please remember that this is not a comprehensive list of signs of a pending Doberman attack, and each dog is an individual. Some may show some of these signs, and some may not show any of them, but what I'm giving you here today are some of the most common and the more typical signs a Doberman displays before they bite or attack. Remember, safety first, and you should always simply avoid or remove yourself from a potentially dangerous situation as your first line of defense. First, these are some of the signs that are the most common for a Doberman display that may indicate to you that there's a real problem brewing and you need to back off. There are definitely more signs than this in dogs in general and what they display when they're becoming aggressive, but these are the ones that are most apparent with Dobermans. And first off is flattened or perked ears. This is big with Dobermans. You can read a lot about a Doberman by their ears. You'll see perked ears for offensive type aggression, you know, when they're getting ready to pursue or attack something and flattened ears with defensive type of aggression. You know, like what's common when Adobe is scared or they're backed into a corner, for example. Next are raised hackles. The hackles on a dog, by the way, are the fur kind of above the shoulders and the hips, like in this video on your screen. You'll basically see that area, the hair in that area, stand up much more than the other fur around it. Another sign is when they got their weight on their front feet. They'll definitely do this. They'll have a slight forward lean when they're becoming more offensive offensively aggressive. Tucked or raised tail. They'll have a tucked tail if they may be becoming defensive and a raised one when they're becoming more offensive. Lowered body. Now this is especially true with their head and their rear end. This is true when they're kind of becoming defensively aggressive though, but not offensive. Alert, stiff, and still posture. Another huge one with Dobermans. They'll look like they're little rigid statues when they're getting aggressive. Intense eye contact. This is huge for the Doberman breed. They're known for intense eye contact when they're getting ready to be offensively aggressive. Snarling, growling, or showing teeth. I included this one here because it does happen during aggression with these dogs, but it's not as common with the Dobermans specifically. Another one is repetitive barking. Usually this is when they've been trained in IGP or bite sports or protection training. Uh, and they'll kind of have that very repetitive bark, but non-trained Dobermans might also do this too. Another one is lunging. Dobermans will definitely try to lunge when they're becoming aggressive, usually when they're on a leash or being held back somehow. Now there are a few other signs of aggression that are really common in dogs in general, but they're not on this list because they just don't seem to be as common or at least definitely not as noticeable with the Doberman breed specifically. And they are the corners of the mouth being pulled back, wrinkled lips, and snapping. Dobermans do snap on occasion, kind of when they're playing, but they only very rarely do this when they're becoming seriously aggressive with someone. Okay, now that you know the signs to watch out for, let's take a look at what the typical stance may be of a Doberman who is about to attack. In other words, in more of an offensive, aggressive mode as opposed to defensive. Take a look at this dog. He's perked up, he's alert, his hackles are raised, his ears are straight up and pointing towards a point of aggression, body weight is forward, he has a stiff body posture, and his tail is raised. Now in this diagram, we're kind of seeing all the possible signs, even the less noticeable ones or the less common ones. So here we also see the forehead wrinkles, the wrinkled nose, the curled lips, and the display of the teeth as well. Now let's take a look at what a Doberman who is in more of a defensive aggressive mode will look like. This is also something that's very dangerous. Now this Doberman this time has his head lowered, his ears are flattened in back, his tail is tucked, but he has those hackles raised of course and still maybe showing teeth and a wrinkled nose and curled lips. This Doberman is clearly wanting to avoid whatever situation they're in, but is also ready to defend itself if needed. If you think a Doberman is getting defensively aggressive, zoom out for a second, look at their environment. Remember that they may be scared and have that adrenaline running through them, which we all learned in health class leads to a fight or flight response, right? Well, if they can't take flight or they run away, for example, because they're in a corner or on a leash, then that only leads one option for them, right? and that's to fight. The best thing you can do for a Doberman who might be showing these signs of defensive aggression is to just back off, give them space, and just keep a safe distance. 
I do want to take a moment to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Lidocam, who you might have seen on this channel before because, well, they do make some of the most impressive and popular and some of the most highest rated indoor security cameras available on Amazon that also work with Alexa or Google Assistant as well as with your cell phone. Or of course, if you don't have an Alexa or Google Assistant, it's totally fine because you can just use their app straight from your cell phone to check on your home anytime you're away and even get alerted when a human is detected. Yes, it can recognize when only another person specifically is in the camera's view and only send an alert then to your phone wherever you are. They have both a standard indoor camera that comes in this cool two pack and a remote pan, tilt and zoom 360 degree camera available far cheaper than you might think right now on Amazon and their Wi-Fi too. So really all you need to do is supply power to them and then you just connect them wirelessly to your network and you're good to go. Both their standard indoor security camera and their 360 degree security camera have a super easy setup process. They have full 1080p high definition resolution, built in night vision, two way audio. So, you know, you can talk to your doorman if they're up to no good and 24 seven recording on a loop. And they have an app for both iPhones and Android phones, which allow you to view or control your cameras remotely while you're away from home. And it can display up to 16 video cameras at a single time. Seriously, check out the price of these best sellers on Amazon guys. The links for these cameras will be in the description of this video down below. I think you'll be pretty surprised at their price point right now. And a big thank you to Lidocam for sponsoring this video because well, not only do us Doberman owners love to have our secure homes, but we really do love capturing priceless moments with our Dobermans on camera too. All right, let's get straight back into the video. Okay, let's look at a Dobermann getting aggressive. Let's see how many of these signs of aggression you can actually spot. Oh man, that Doberman does not like that worker across the street stacking that wood or trim work or whatever he has. Makes sense to me. That worker across the street though is kind of taking it like a champ to be honest. He's like, Doberman? What Doberman? Take a look how that Doberman is standing on his own property. At least I'm assuming it's his own property. And the stranger across the street uh, is carrying something big out from the neighbor's house and towards him. Totally makes sense to me that he'd be feeling protective in this situation. But take a look at the physical signs of aggression the Doberman is showing though. He's definitely leaning forward onto his front feet. He's got his weight forward. His ears are perked up, his tail's up. And if you look close, you can see that his hackles are definitely raised. He looks super stiff. I mean, stiff like a board. And of course he's barking and he has that laser focus on that guy across the street. This is a great example of offensive type aggression from a Doberman. Okay, let's check out another Doberman doing what he does best. <laughs> This Doberman is definitely spooked at something over that fence. We can't see what it is, but take a look at his posture. His weight's forward, his hackles are standing up like crazy. He's still, his ears are perked, tail's perked. And did you notice how he kept checking back on his owner? At least I'm assuming it's the person that's filming this. This is very typical for a Doberman when they're working through in their head what kind of an appropriate reaction is to a situation. They always start kind of checking back at their owner for a cue. Now remember how in tune Dobermans are with their owners, right? So if their owner is tense and backing up or acting fearful in any way, then his reaction is gonna get much worse. If the owner is relaxed and acting like it's just not a big deal, then that dog is gonna calm way down. It's another great example of offensive aggression posturing from a Doberman. Okay, let's take a look at this last clip and this one is a little bit different. Okay, this is one of the few clips we have at Doberman Planet of defensive aggression from a Doberman. They're kind of hard to come by. Not many people think to take out their phone and start filming when they see this. In this case though, I can tell you that although yes, this Doberman is resource guarding and being defensive, he clearly knows the person who's grabbing for his stick. For example, his hackles aren't raised and that's usually the very first sign you'd see with a Doberman who's getting seriously defensive aggressive. But this is still a good example of a defensive aggression from a Doberman because you can see how his whole body posture is really different. His head is down low, his rear end is tucked, and he's kind of looking at the subject, but not really staring at him with that direct intense eye contact. It's more of like a, like a side gaze. He's also barking repetitively, and he kind of just looks like he's starting to want to show some of his teeth a little bit, but only slightly really it looks like. This is definitely a defensively aggressive Doberman engaged in resource guarding specifically. If you love the Doberman breed and you wanna keep learning more about this amazingly unique breed of dog, including why they're so unique, how they're so unique, and how you can really thrive with your Doberman in your life, then don't forget to not only subscribe here on YouTube, but also check out Doberman Planet on Instagram, Facebook, 
TikTok and our email newsletter. For example, on our TikTok page, you'll get tons of short, easily digestible quick tips for your Doberman and insight into this amazing breed of dog. Most of our videos on TikTok are under 60 seconds. So yeah, they get right to the meat of the topic and they're filled with useful information and tips. On our Facebook and Instagram pages, you're more likely to get frequent short blurbs of useful advice about your Doberman, uh, but you also get links to great resources and guides out there to help you in your Doberman journey and some short kind of cut to the chase type videos there as well. Oh, and not to mention a great community there with lots of active commenters and back and forth with other doorman owners that can just be really really useful and guys before you leave please don't forget to take a look for the link for the sponsor of today's video lido cam in the description down below this video these cameras are great ways to keep an eye on your property and your dog while you're away so you know even if your doorman's getting a mischievous streak you know that they're doing okay and anytime during your workday you can always check in and you know what you're coming home to. Thanks so much for watching today. Please keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Spread the word about this amazing breed of dog and I'll see you on the next one.